So I just got it off an interesting call. It was with a company that came from an online platform and they're looking to get into retail. Now, when we see this, it usually goes one or two ways. You know, one, they're not prepared for retail. They don't have the margins in place. They don't understand the path to market and the logistical requirements to get the product on the shelf. Or more like the call I just had, they knew what was going on, they knew their numbers, and they knew what they needed to do to get the product into the market. So luckily this came from an entrepreneur that was seasoned. Um, he had some years behind him and he had two successful launches. But you know, when we're talking about a product that is going from an online platform into retail, there's no reason why you have to do a huge rebrand on it. You know, people buy products on the shelf very similar to how they buy it in on the website. But the problem and the difference is that when you're on the website, you have a chance to explain things to them. You have an education process. You can compare, you can contrast, you can have that opportunity to educate. But in stores, you don't usually have that opportunity. That's why when we're working with a product that needs to have an educational sale, we like to put it through a track like an independent grocer or a nutrition store or somewhere there where there's a more consultative sale, a pharmacy, for example, where the pharmacist would be able to explain if you're using this drug, if you have this issue, you should also consider using this ointment that'll help you with the symptoms. So having a consultative sale is a much easier way to bring a product to market because you're solving a problem that the person walking in may not know that they need your product to solve, but having that person in the store, having that explainer is a real good way to kind of get your product to move off the shelf. Now, that being said, you'd still need the margin. You know, when you're in that kind of a field, the margins are higher. They're more closer to 50, 60%, uh, but you also want to make sure that you have the education on the box. You have the complete uh, directions on the box so that when somebody picks it up, they don't have to go inside the box to learn what it is. You don't want a bunch of broken boxes on the shelf. So have all the education boiled down right on the box, show what it does, tell what it does, and have it succinctly delivered so that when the person buys it, they know what to do and they know how to use it. Um, if you found this helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more information, and I want to hear about your business, so please comment below.